Hello, everybody. Thanks so much for checking out Uncensored Tactical. We've been doing lots of podcasting, but not lots of videos, so we're going to get back into that today. Um, today, we're going to talk about this big, badass magnet that you have to be very careful with, um, with your storage, with your handling. So we're going to talk about this, and we're going to kind of do a multi-part series today. Um, the first step is, if you haven't yet, go over to the website and go to this original article called Deadbolt Magnet Truth. It's on uncensoredtactical.com, or it's in the link in the YouTube show notes. And watch the video that I'm going to reference here. It's going to be a little grainy video. It's a couple years old, and a guy's going to take a training stand like this. He's just going to run the magnet over the top, and this deadbolt will magically get sucked into the door. Really cool. Uh, scientifically, yeah, that video I think is, is legit. It works in that specific setting with a training stand, without a real door frame, without a metal door. So we're going to go into some reasons why that doesn't work in the field and how we can kind of use this to our advantage, even if it doesn't fully work. So part one, go over to the website, hit pause on this, check out our video that I'm going to reference. And it's right below the original YouTube video. If you go to uncensoredtactical.com to this original article. Cool. With that done, uh, we're going to combine a few techniques. So the first thing I'm going to do is do a review on how to walk a deadbolt back and the problems with that. So to walk a deadbolt back, if a, de if a good deadbolt is properly installed and it fully extends and locks itself out, you can't walk it back with a knife. So in our other video, you would have seen me walk this, this bolt back in. Where this will work is if for some reason your frame is really short or you just forget to turn your lock all the way and you, you turn it and it meets resistance, but it's not fully locked out. So you turn, you turn, you can feel that you're hitting the bottom of your door frame, but the lock hasn't completely locked out. With that scenario, you can bite down on that, on that bolt and start to walk it in. Now you have to be on the pull side of the door for this to work because of the back of that door frame, you can't push your knife in there. Okay, so that's basically a review. You can go check out that other video as well. It's just, it's really short. You're not really missing much if you've seen this one. So the magnet technique, one of the reasons that won't work in real life often is if you listen very carefully, Did you hear? Did you hear the deadbolt strike that latch plate as I turned it shut? I'll do it from the key with this side. You hear it? Almost grinds against that latch strike plate. So if it's fully locked out, this magnet trick might work, might not work. You gotta be real careful. As you can, as you can see, the deadbolt is still there. There's a few reasons this won't work. One of them is it will grind against that plate. So there's pressure on this. So if you try and pull this in a direction with the magnet, the actual door frame and the door are creating this binding pressure on your deadbolt. So that's one of the reasons this won't work. Another reason this won't work is a metal door. Um, and another reason this won't work is you're on the push side of the door. So you can't see the bolt. Um, if there were a lock here, it doesn't matter which side the lock is on for deadbolt training. Um, so this frame will kind of get in the way and it won't really let your magnet set in the position you want it. Um, so those are a few problems that we're going to see when we go to our metal door next. And I'm also going to show you how to combine walking a deadbolt back in with a magnet. So let's go do that. All right, the first thing you'll notice right off the bat is that, wow, man, that magnet is strong, is that I have this magnet and a sock. It's a clean sock, don't worry. So the first thing you'll notice is that it's in a sock and it's already pulling against that door. So let's go ahead and lock, lock that deadbolt out. And it won't walk in because it's fully extended and properly installed. So because the door is metal, it already takes away from some of this pulling force and kind of sends it in different directions. 
But let's say I can partially get this to work. So let's say that I'm attacking this door and I can see the bolt from the outside. I can see that gap in the door frame. I've tried to walk it in and it doesn't work. Now I try to do this magnet technique and that doesn't work. But what does work is that if I can get the bolt to move just that eighth of an inch, now I can take out my knife because I've defeated that elbow lock mechanism. So I take my knife out carefully. Now I bite into it and start walking it in. So a lot of the lessons I teach in my tactical lock picking course, which is titled Entries and Escapes, a lot of the methods I teach are three parts. So you have a technique, so the magnet. Then you have a reason the magnet won't work because of either pressure, because of pressure on that latch, or because of a metal door, or because of a different type of installation. And then I'll also show you a way that even with that defeat, you can overcome that defeat as well. So there's kind of three parts. So like an attack, a counter, and then a counter attack. This is one of those. I'm really happy to share that with you guys. Uh, please leave some comments in the YouTube section. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, email me at uncensoredtactical.com or I'm really active on Instagram, at Uncensored Tactical. And if you want some good high quality training where your instructor won't lie to you and make you think techniques are super magic, hit me up for a training request and I plan on having a really busy summer. So get, on in, get in on that early and I'd love to provide you guys with as much freaking value as I can. Again, thanks so much for checking out our videos. See you next time.